Hello, I am Dr. Chandrika, practicing as an obstetrician and gynecologist at Chirag Hospital, JP Nagar Second Phase, Bangalore. I also do visit Malati Manipal Hospital, Jayanagar 9th Block, Apollo Cradle Hospital, Jayanagar 5th Block. I do visit Motherhood Hospital at Panashankari Second Stage. What are the causes of heavy menstrual period? So, causes of heavy menstrual period in today's society, all of you, uh, general public also know that there is so much of polycystic ovaries or PCOD. This is one of the commonest causes of heavy menstrual period. Because in polycystic ovary, what happens is they have very irregular periods. That is, they have got a prolonged period of not having periods, then they have period. That is, they have periods once in 45 days or once in two months, sometimes once in three months, etc. So when such thing happens, the inner layer of the uterus that bleeds every month is going to grow over a period of a long period, that is over a period of one and a half to two months or three months also sometimes. So because it has grown for such a long time, when it is shed also, that the growth will be so much that there is a heavy bleeding which has to occur for the thickness to get shed. So, and that is one reason and one more reason is in this polycystic ovaries and in all these heavy menstrual periods also, the commonest cause is abnormal hormone production. So, what are the hormones that are involved in this bleeding is, in a female there are mainly two hormones that are involved. One is estrogen, the other is progesterone. One of the commonest causes for heavy menstrual bleeding is hormonal cause I told you. I will show you with this chart. See, this is a chart of the female reproductive system. See, this is the uterus and this is the inner layer of the uterus which is shed every month during menstrual period. See, when you open this lining inside, is put here like this. See, this is the lining which has to be shed every month during menstrual period. So, what happens is, I told you that hormone cause is one of the commonest cause. See, in a female reproductive system, there are mainly two hormones. One is the estrogen and the other is the progesterone. The estrogen and progesterone are secreted from the ovaries. And this estrogen is going to have effect on the inner lining of the uterus. And what is the effect of this estrogen? It tries to grow this thickness of this endometrium or the inner layer of the uterus into thickness. See what happens? More of estrogen it grows, more thicker it grows. See, this is another cycle of this ovary. So when this is the first 15 days of your monthly periods. After the 14th or 15th day, in a normal female, the egg is released or what is called as ovulation happens. So this is the place where egg is getting released. So when the egg gets released, there is one more hormone that is produced that is called as progesterone. So this hormone progesterone starts acting on the inner lining of the uterus. So what happens when the progesterone is released is that this thick layer that the estrogen has overgrown, it tries to control that overgrowth and it tries to little bit shrinkage of the vascular supply also and the thickness also. So there will be little control on the growth of this layer. And so when this whole cycle is over, that is the 28-30 days is getting over, the whole all the hormones stop secreting, that is both the estrogen and progesterone. So when there is sudden stoppage of production of estrogen and production, because of lack of support, this layer cannot sustain more. So that is the time when it starts getting shed. That is what is called as menstrual period. See, you can see this here. When the hormones are withdrawn, see, this is bleeding happening. So you can see the bleeding here. So when the bleeding happens, the amount of thickness that is so much, it becomes shrunken to this level. So again, the new cycle starts. And because of the influence of this estrogen, again, slowly it starts growing till this ovulation happens. This is how periods happen. And the other cause will be maybe some things like physical structures, like there are fibroids, some benign tumors in the wall of the musculature of the uterus and because of their presence also heavy menstrual bleeding happens. Go to your gynecologist, she will try to find out the cause of your heavy periods and depending on the cause, she will try to uh, protect you from heavy bleeding, be supportive from hormones from outside because these people are not having enough progesterone, they are having only unstimulated production of estrogens. So we try to put hormone from outside, that is we try to put progesterone to them so that it will suppress the effect of the estrogens on the uterine cavity and that is how it controls the heavy bleeding of the uterus. That is one more thing and one more thing the cause of heavy periods is that intrauterine contraceptive devices. See when a lady wants to use contraception, one of the methods is intrauterine copper tea, intrauterine contraceptive device. So this intrauterine contraceptive device, it is inserted inside the uterus and when there is intrauterine device, that will stimulate the occurrence of heavy periods. It is known to produce heavy periods. So when we put a copper tea, we try to take the history of the patient. We try to know how the pattern of our periods is. So we should not insert copper teas in patients who are already having heavy periods. Some patients are there who are routinely having very scanty flow 
or less than normal flow. Those are the candidates who are fit for introduction of intrauterine contraceptive device or copper tea. So we should use these things with proper analysis of the patient and we should not blindly use these devices in anybody and everybody. And this is how we have to prevent occurrence of heavy menstrual period.